I'm going to show you how to multiply a number by 10 and we're going to choose the number 23 so 23 is made up of two tens and three units you all know that 3 times 10 is 30 so what happens to the 3 is it moves along one column and it ends up in the tens column 20 times 10 is 200 so the 2 also moves along one column and ends up in the hundreds column so what we've got here is 230 we just add an extra zero in the units so we found out that 23 times 10 gives us 230 so in effect what happens is when you multiply a whole number by 10 all the columns move along one place so it's as if you're adding a zero that doesn't work for decimals we'll be doing that later on but for whole numbers to multiply a number by 10 if you put a zero at the end keep the numbers the same you get the right answer I'm going to show you how to multiply a number by a hundred. So we're going to start off with number 39. 39 is made up of three tens and nine units. You remember when we multiplied 39 by 10, everything moved along one column. So the nine units moved into the tens column, which becomes 90, and the three tens moved into the hundreds column to become 300. So 39 times 10 is 390. 100 is 10 times 10. So if we multiply by 10 again, then we will get 39 times 100. So the 9 moves along another column, into the hundreds column. And the 3 moves along another column, into the thousands column. So altogether we get 3,900. So we can say that 39 times 100 is 3,900. That will work with any whole number. So all you have to remember, when you multiply a whole number by 100, add two zeros that push the other units along two columns and then you'll get the right answer. I'm going to show you how to multiply 39 by a thousand. When you multiply 9 by a thousand, the 9 units move from the units column along to the thousands column. So the 9 ends up in the thousands column. Similarly, the 3 moves along three columns as well. So the three ends up in the ten thousands column. So then we need three zeros to fill in our number grid. So we found out that thirty nine times a thousand equals 39,000. So when you multiply any whole number by a thousand, all the digits move along three places. So you end up with at least three zeros at the end of the number.